What's going on everyone? In this video I'm going to show you how to install the official CyanogenMod Mod 10.1 ROM uh, which is based off Android 4.2 for the Nexus 10 tablet. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is prove to you guys I'm actually running a Nexus 10. About tablet. There's Nexus 10. Oops. Android 4.2.1. Okay, so before we continue, uh, first off you need to know that by attempting to follow the instructions in this video, should you try and something go wrong, you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, I take no responsibility. You'll be following this video at your own risk. Furthermore, in order to flash Synergy Mod uh, 10.1, your device must be rooted, load Cockroach Mod Recovery on, and uh, I, I believe you need the bootloader unlocked. In fact, I show you how to do that very, very easily uh, in a separate video. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Uh, furthermore, everything will be wiped on your device. I'm not sure about pictures, music, and gallery, etc. However, I suggest you back up your media, like pictures and stuff, to your computer. And as for your apps and data, yes, they will. I can guarantee that everything will be wiped. So, if you want to know how to back that up, uh, I have a video. To I have a video explaining how to do that as well. I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. However, there's a known issue that trying to back up the device, uh, the Nexus 10 with Clockwork Mod Recovery, doesn't exactly work too well. So in the video in which I show you how to root, load Cockroach Mod, etc., uh, recovery, etc., uh, that toolkit I use also allows you to back up everything to your computer, um, how Cockroach Mod recovery should. So if you can't do it uh, the traditional method, that toolkit does it for you. It's very, very easy to use. I'm not a developer, so if you have any technical questions, please do not ask me. I most likely cannot help you. Go to the San Angel Mod website and you know register in the forums and ask in there. So the first thing you need to do is download the actual ROM. Um, so what you need to do is go to this uh, web page, and basically you see these things here that says nightly. There's a whole bunch of them, um, right? For the Nexus 10, what's happening here is that nightly basically stands for experimental. In the future, if you see uh, RC, that means release candidate, which is even better. If you see stable, then obviously that's the best. Um, they are date stamped, so if you want to know which one's the best one then, you know, uh, the newest updated one, just look at the date stamp. So you're going to download the ROM from here. Um, I'm downloading the Nightly, which is experimental, the latest one available out right now. And what you're going to do is download uh, G apps. So right now, this is the official Mod wiki. However, if you see Mod 10.1, if you click on it, it doesn't work. Uh, I'm not sure why, but for some reason, they haven't uploaded G apps yet. So I'll include a, uh, a link in which I have to do some research and find G apps. I'll include a temporary link in the description below. If someone were to you know tell me in the future, hey, this this website is actually working, or if I see myself that it's working, I will redirect it to this website. For, so for now, there's a temporary G apps link in the description below. Okay, so when you download the ROM file and the G apps file, you're gonna copy and paste them to the root directory of your Nexus 10. Nothing fancy. Uh, just connect your Nexus 10 with the USB cord to your computer. Um, and just copy and paste it into the main folder, so, you know, just like here, okay? The next thing we need to do is boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Okay, so depending on how you uh, unlock the bootloader and load a Clockwork Mod Recovery on your device, it might be different from my method of booting into Clockwork Mod Recovery, but this is how I have to do it, okay? So basically, I have to power it on the device, I have to press and hold both volume buttons and the power button at the same time. So I'm pressing both volume buttons now, pressing and holding the power button, vibrated and this is fast boot mode what you're going to do is use the volume buttons to navigate Le uh, you know you can use left or right and the power button to select so we're going to look for where is it recovery mode uh, I know the camera's out of focus there we go and press the power button to select it it's now going to boot into clockwork mod recovery depending on your version of clockwork mod recovery um, if you have the touch version you, you can literally touch an option and it'll do it if you don't have the touch version you can use the volume buttons to navigate up and down, and the power button to select. Okay, so the first thing we need to do in Clockwork Mode Recovery is wipe data factory reset. This is the point to no return, okay? So this is where everything's gonna be deleted. Select it. You're gonna scroll all the way down until you find yes. And um, wiping data factory reset, I, I do it twice. You don't actually have to. I'm just doing it twice just to like make sure that um, everything has been wiped completely. Simply because other ROMs I have flashed, the errors occurred wiping it, the data factory reset twice made it work properly. And same with wipe cache partition. You're going to navigate to it, wipe cache partition. Again, I'm going to do this step twice. You don't have to, um, but yeah, 
we'll continue when it's done. Okay, so now I want to install the actual ROM. The directories on the Nexus 10 is kind of strange, and I'll show you why. Um, you're going to do, go down to install zip from SD card. Uh, choose zip from SD card. Okay, here you, you don't actually see your SD card directory, right? You see a whole bunch of other folders. I have to select this top one. Uh, there, you guys can see the top one is zero slash. Now, this is where my, all my SD card directories are. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go all the way down. Man, this is really hard. This tablet is huge. Um, okay, I'm going to look for CM 10.1 uh, with today's date, which is 2012, uh, December 6th, nightly. Yours might be different, but basically you're looking for CM 10.1. Um, press enter on it. I mean, power button on it. Go to yes. It's going to install the actual ROM. So we'll continue when it's done. Okay, so when it finished, it went automatically back to this screen. We're not done yet. We're going to choose it from SD card again. Uh, you're going to select zero slash again. And basically, you're going to navigate all the way to the bottom once more. This time, we're going to install G apps. So for my particular G apps, this is 4.2 G apps and some sort of zip file. Oops, select it. Go to yes, install it. When it's done, we'll continue from there. Okay, so it's done. Uh, it automatically went back to this menu, so what we're going to do is hit go back, reboot system now, power button to select, that should be a given by now. Um, we're not completely done yet, I want to actually prove to you guys it's working, so just hang around for a bit. Okay, so uh, because it's the initial boot, it actually took a little while to start up. In fact, it kind of froze on me. All I do is simply press the home button and this appeared and it worked fine. So to prove to you guys I'm actually running it, go to system settings, about tablet, Okay, still running a Nexus 10, under 4.2.1, and where are you? Signage and mod 10.1. So um, I'm not going to make a demonstration video because if you want to see a demo of uh, Signage and mod 10.1, I already did it for the Nexus 4. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Um, if I do get enough requests, to, you know, people say, "Yo, show me the demonstration of Signage and mod 10 on the Nexus 10," I will make that video. Uh, otherwise, I won't. So, if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.